All right, so here we'll be looking at the biology 2017 paper two for unit one biology. And let's have a look at the module one component. So the first question asks us to really look at the um, stained animal cell under a light microscope and to really identify four structures, right? Um, well, create a drawing and then identify four structures. Now, the general four structures that we could probably look at is the cell membrane that could be seen, um, the nucleus, the cytoplasm, the ribosomes, right? So these are kind of characteristics that students have said that they would be able to see, as well as we need to measure the bar line specifically in order to get the size of the image, right? And once we measure the bar line to get the size of the image, all we need to do to calculate the magnification you know the magnification would generally just speak to um the image size right divided by the actual size or the actual component right or the actual size of the image okay um well no the image size divided by the actual cell right so no the image size would be basically the size so the bar line and then the times a thousand for the actual size and then we'll just plug in those values in order to calculate our magnification right so yeah that's generally the magnification there and in order to find the actual size we just transpose the actual would basically be our image divided by our magnification yeah so if you were to actually look at it if the magnification is equal to image over actual right we're going to be doing times in both sides by the actual and dividing both sides by the magnification we're going to get the image size divided by the actual size all right for this experiment now what we're looking at you could pause and look at the question what we're generally looking at is an experiment to determine the amount of reducing sugar and starch in different degrees of ripeness of banana we're asked to propose a hypothesis now the different hypotheses proposed would have been um, fact that we well, have been stating that the the concentration of reducing sugar within bananas increase as they get riper, or the concentration of iodine, well not iodine, of starch in bananas would have decreased as they got riper. So all we have to do is look at the information and to draw a notable um, hypothesis from it, right? A scientific guess based on the observations here, right? And uh, yeah. So that's generally what we're doing there to get the hypothesis um, for that question. Any suitable hypothesis would work. And then we're comparing the results obtained for the amount of reducing sugar and starch made by our samples and now including your comparison with this, um, relations to the observation. So based on the experiment, our, our results would have been, right, an increase, the increase in precipitate would help us with the quantitative measure of how much reducing sugar is there, right? So we're seeing that the amount of reducing sugar is increasing from the green raw banana to that towards the ripe banana. So as the amount of reducing sugar increases here, and we can see, observe um, from the height of set. Why? Because if you look at all of the observations of one heating, we're gonna have a green solution, we're gonna have to see that. So that won't tell us anything with a change in the amount right of reducing sugar so we have to look at the height of the precipitate to tell right and that's going to we're going to be able to see that right so the reducing sugar um concentration increases with the degree of ripeness and the intensity of the color of the iodine we're seeing a blue a blue black color for the raw ban the green banana then a medium blue black color for the half ripe and then a pale blue black color for the for the ripe banana Right. So what we're looking at here is that the intensity of the color um, dissipates, right, as the, um, well for the iodine test, right, as we go, um, as we increase the degree of ripeness of banana. So that can really tell us now, right, that the starch right, is being broken down. So generally comparison would um, be made using those assumptions are going to be looking at that the fact that as reducing sugar concentration increases the starch concentration decreases so it shows within a ripening that starch generally breaks down to produce more um, reducing sugars right as uh, the banana ripens 
and then we're supposed to comment on the significance of our finding as it relates to the, the use of the banana as food item, right? So green bananas would contain more starch, and as bananas ripen, right, we have a higher um, concentration of reducing sugars, right? So what we'll be basically doing here is speaking about the change in the nutritive properties of the banana as it gets ripened. Right, so we're just going to be discussing the things like of the findings. Uh, if we're looking at starch concentration and reducing sugar concentration, and the fact that it's increasing, right, um, as it gets ripened, right, we're supposed to be looking at that relation with bananas as food items. So the ripe bananas would be there. Um, well, bananas in general are used um, for the excess of carbohydrates that it would be producing, right. Um, and as we get a higher degree of ripeness, we're going to be increasing the sugar concentration. So we could look at that within um, the increase of glucose levels within um, the blood due to the consumption of riper bananas, right? And then looking at generally energy that can be supplied through the, the consumption of starch in the form of consumption of starch within green bananas, right? Then we're supposed to be stating the purpose of the test um, of testing a sample um, of no banana extract. So if no banana extract, just water, it is going to be used as a control. So usually we use controls to see whether or not reagents are working or to see the relationship between the use of the reagents with the experimental setups, right? But generally here, just for one mark, we're speaking about the fact that why um, why we use the sample with no banana extract from just water is used as a control in the experiment. Alright, so that would be it. And then we head into module two, um, components of section A of the 2017 paper.